This neighborhood is often seen as the six blocks of misery. It has the highest percentage of homelessness, poverty, and substance abuse, mental health issues in Canada. I was approached by the United Church of Canada and their agency, and they had a desire to bring the word of faith and spirituality back to the streets. Paint Your Faith arose out of the desire to think outside the box. We are attempting to create a space in which everyone, regardless of faith traditions, socioeconomic level, or mental health or addictions, can come together and talk about what faith actually is. This is not about religion. It's about creating a new message, a new approach to how to talk about spirituality and faith. One, two, one, two, three. So I came back to the United Church of Canada and I said basically this. We're gonna get four street artists, we're gonna get up on a wall, and we're gonna paint. We're gonna just basically give no brief to the artists, except for how do they feel about spirituality and faith? For me, this is my way to give back to my community. People need beauty and to paint something about faith there, I think it's very important. I think it's always uplifting to have uh, murals and images in any space. This will make more the city culturally. It will be good for the people who live in the city. Excuse me, sir, I'm lost. I'm looking for a place where I can get lost. I think it's wonderful that this mural is going to go up in this community, both as a sign of hope for the downtown east side, but I also hope as a reflection of the hopefulness that people feel in this community that, that life can be better. A volcano erupted in Iceland. Ash. Planes get stopped, and the whole of Europe is just shut down. And it's like, holy smokes, Faith 47, Faith 47's flight, she's not coming because she can't get through Frankfurt. Oh, Jesus. What's plan B when a volcano erupts? Okay, Faith, you are not gonna like this one. Oh, voicemail again. We need to figure out a way to get Faith 47 to, to Canada, no matter what. Faith 47 shows up. Hi. Shalom, Faith 47. Hi. 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 40 hour flight, actually more than that, uh, via Sao Paulo, Mexico, so it was a bit painful. Mm. I think everything is cool, but all of a sudden, the rain. You know, it's been raining and the artists are kind of like, you know, they want to enjoy the place that they're working in and they really haven't been able to. It started raining and hailing. I was like, I, I can't keep painting. TT's got MIA. Have you, guys, have you guys seen TT? Ken, did you see TT? TT. No, he's not answering the door. And the tarp collapsed backwards. It's just, this is crazy. Like, now it's just really makes it more down to the wire. These have been 16 hour days. There's a lot of pressure. There's been a few stressed out days and nights. I've been getting about three hours a night of sleep. So, it's coming along? Yeah, it's, it's coming along. We're, uh, we're almost there. A few are more we, days. Are we going to make the press conference on Wednesday? <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Crossing my fingers. Okay. I'm quite excited by this project because I think that people in the downtown east side have something to offer to the wider Vancouver community about faith. There's more here than just poverty and misery. There are stories of courage that emerge from this place that we all can learn from. So now that we've got like the wall going, it's now an opportunity for us to kind of reach out to see what else we can do. Maybe this lot has the potential to be more than just some boulders and some bricks and some used needles and the garbage that people just throw over. This girl showed up the other day with a clown nose and I noticed her cleaning up and I was kind of like... All syringes. Um, just cleaning it actually, just slowly but surely removing all the trash and the garbage to make this neighborhood a little more colorful and peaceful and clean. And like, whoa, is this like fate happening here? Someone approached us to talk about a community garden. Someone else talked about a farm. So it's becoming a little bit more than just the wall now. If you think, here we've just made a spot that was not very pretty and beautiful, that would be good in itself. But it's interesting to see that other people then start to spin off that. I just thought this would be another job, and uh, it's going beyond that, you know, beyond my wildest dreams. Painting this, it's, it's a small action in this big problem, but uh, hopefully it's going to bring some fresh new energy. This morning we are pleased to present to you the efforts of four internationally known graffiti artists. Together they have created this soulful piece of artwork that graces the wall behind me. It's our belief that it will lighten the hearts of any who pass by, and it's our hope that it will generate many opportunities for conversation by all who pause to reflect on its images. I think it's fantastic, it really adds a lot of life. That's a lot of life and feeling, feeling to the, to the city. I think it just beautifies and brightens and, you know, makes people think. I think um, any addition of colour is great in a neighbourhood, particularly if it's a theme of um, community. We'll tell people about it and we'll send them down here to come and check it out. Yeah.